Hi, uh, John from York Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at the investment markets. Wow, well, what a last uh, sort of 24 hours, really, pretty historical. Um, going Certainly going into the US election, all the polls were pointing to uh, a Clinton victory. Um, she was still about sort of two to three points up in the uh, in most of the polls. Um, apart from the LA uh, poll, uh, which still had uh, Trump as a lead, and certainly when you were talking to the Trump camp and they were being interviewed, they were still saying there was quite a sort of silent Trump vote out there, which was going to get them over the line. Uh, fast forward 24 hours and, uh, you know, really, uh, really pretty, uh, pretty amazing uh, results. Uh, Trump sweeping uh, the presidential poll, um, but also as well, uh, the Republicans managing to retain the Senate and also the House of Representatives as well. So they got a clean sweep on the, uh, on the US uh, political situation. And it's now just going to be very interesting to see how they sort of make that work. You know, certainly the U.S. is a pretty divided country, uh, but again, you know, really sort of quite impressive with uh, Mr. Trump's first sort of speech as the president-elect. Um, you know, he was sort of pretty humble, um, you know, was, was thanking everyone, and really did sort of <laughs> start to look presidential, really, which was, you know, a, a has been a sort of surprise from his sort of recent speeches. So, you know, what, what does that do for the markets? I mean, initially there was a huge knee-jerk reaction. Uh, Dow was down uh, sort of over six, 700 points. Um, but it's interesting as, uh, you know, the news started to get digested and you looked at what sort of sectors would do reasonably well. Healthcare looks like it will benefit. Uh, banks look like they'll benefit. And the market came back really pretty strongly. Um, to close the day up around uh, just over 200 points. So if you look at it, it's nearly a 1,000-point swing from the lows to the highs, which, again, you know, say really pretty dramatic. And it's just going to be interesting now to see how this sort of pans through and, you know, what his policies uh, sort of mean for the U.S. Uh, US economy. You know, what it does do is probably take away a little bit of nervousness now as well. Um, and certainly we, uh, you know, we expect to see a, a rate hike from the Fed in December. Closer to home here in New Zealand, the Reserve Bank uh, cut interest rates again down to 1.75 for the OCR. And sort of indicated that, uh, you know, unless there's any sort of major disruptions, that's probably the low now. And you expect to see rates on hold for a, for a period of time as we look to see how these uh, sort of recent uh, rate cuts sort of filter through in the economy. You know, but that sort of stated, you know, New Zealand economy is growing at a pretty reasonable rate. Um, you know, also as well, you've still got to factor in the latest sort of increases from the dairy auction. You know, that'll be all, you know, very supportive for, for the dairy sector and the farmers. You know, that should put more money into the economy. Um, so now it's just a question of just getting a little bit of inflationary pressure coming through and, uh, you know, just to see how that sort of filters through into, into the rest of the economy. Obviously, with that rate cut, uh, you know, potentially uh, sort of return deposit rates might just go down a little bit further. You know, as discussed many times, there are further options out there. If you're looking for income and if you're interested in discussing what these options are, call us on 800-867-323 or go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles. We look forward to speaking to you soon.